Everyone, welcome. It's a fresh week. So nice to have you here. I'm on a real Japanese whiskey kick. Really, both of us. Um, he gets lit pretty easily and gets quite aggressive. Um, this is Fukano. Great Japanese whiskey. Highly recommend. If you have not had it, um, I am really not even joking. Not so much on this channel, but on our 1911 Syndicate channel, I really want a whiskey sponsor. I want one of those like liquor super stores that like ships nationwide. I want one of them as a sponsor. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today we're talking about real estate news and I get it. This is the most exciting thing that you've been waiting to hear your entire life is Jake, what is going on in real estate news in the year 2021? We are filming this on uh, what, 920 on September 20th. So I'm just gonna hit you with some stats, okay? It's just gonna be some facts, some figures, some of it actually quite interesting, everyone. So stick with me and come aboard this cruise ship journey of real estate statistics. Um, home sales dropped. Um, for the first time in 15 months. Okay, so this would be August 2021 versus August 2020. Home sales dropped 6%. Now, that is not prices, okay? Don't get the two confused. That is not prices, that is home sales, actual volume of homes being sold. That number actually makes a little bit of sense to me because if you think about August 2020, we're still coming out of a period of what? 60 days where no one was leaving their house because they were going to die or whatever was going to happen to them, right? So it was that bent, sort of pent up surge of like um, sort of June, July, August in there where like no one had been out for a couple of months. So you did have that surge. So that 6% drop really doesn't mean a, a whole lot to me. It just kind of, it's about what I would expect, honestly. The um, median home price still up, this is nationwide, up 16% year over year. So that would be, hey, from August 2020 to August 21, which is going to be most of the stats that we're talking about here. Median home price in the U.S. was up 16%. And that is just, I, I mean, you got to keep in mind, guys, I think the norm is like 3%. So, you know, 16 is, is what, four or five years four or five years worth of growth in one year. Pretty, pretty outrageous. So here you go. Here's some interesting ones. These are going to be your top three markets with home price increases year over year. Number one, actually, let's go, let's go in reverse. Let's go at the number three spot would be actually they were almost tied. So between the number two and three spots would be Phoenix and Salt Lake. Now, the good time for me and that is, of course, those are two markets where we uh, operate. I live in Salt Lake. And then my uh, business partner, Chris, who is uh, actually upstairs right now, um, is in Phoenix. So good time for us in our markets. And those percentages were 24 and 25 percent. Wow. 24, 25 percent for Phoenix and Salt Lake year over year. At the number one spot, though, by a wide margin is... Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. I just did a pause there because Crispy, my editor, told me I need to start making particular faces for videos for the thumbnails. So that that was like my real estate news face that's probably going to be in the thumbnail in case you're like, why did he spasm out right there? So Austin is at the number one spot, 36%. Man, 36%. So a $300,000 house a year ago is now 400 grand. Actually, it would be over, but like, wow, that is insane. And I mean, Austin, Austin makes me nervous. I'm not going to lie. I mean, Austin clearly has a giant influx coming in from California because all the, and look, I was a California person at one point. They're all going like, let's go to Austin. And like, guys, just, just don't wreck Texas. Like, just don't wreck Texas. You know, like Austin's already weird and they're proud of that. Like, just don't wreck the whole state, you know? Um, two markets that had a decrease in home value, which is not something you expect to hear right now, but I found it interesting, so we're including it. Milwaukee, down 1.6%, and to, you know, most of you at home, myself included, probably didn't even re remember the fact that Milwaukee was a city until I said that. So, hey, as it turns out, Milwaukee is still part of America, and they dropped 1.6% in their home values. And then the other one, uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, dropped 1.1%, everyone. So, wow, look out, Bridgeport, Connecticut, right? Miami, this is fascinating. I mean, this is 
this is actually fascinating. Miami, home sales, right? So there's just sales, not prices, but home sales from July 2021, well, from, from July 2020 to July 2021, home sales in Miami spiked 57.7%. Wow. Like that is, I, I mean, you can't, I mean, like these numbers are absolutely insane. Single family home sales were up 15%. This is still in Miami. Condo sales. Condo sales were up 103.7%. What? What? 104 percent Let's just round up. How shall we? 104 percent increase in condo sales in one year. I mean, I mean that's absolutely insane. So part of that is coming from uh, like New York and some of the big cities where those people are tired of that crap, and also tax advantages. People are looking. They're looking at Miami and they're like, look, it's it's got a better overall cost of living for a pretty cool place. I mean, who doesn't love Miami, right? It's just wild as shit. Um, tax advantages. Um, yeah, hurricanes, you know, whatever. Um, but I mean, uh, unreal. And I'm going to leave you on this one because I did find this one quite fascinating as well. Hawaii is a great place to buy right now, everyone. Hawaii, uh, of all places, you would never go like, ah, this is, I wonder if this is a good time to buy in Hawaii. It actually is. So what happened, um, the real estate market is undervalued by 5% in Hawaii. And that's actually a pretty big percentage, right? You say 5%, let's just say a half million dollar house. What's 5% of that? 10% would be $25,000. Like that's $25,000. Like that, that's pretty significant money. So what, what that's coming from is that during COVID, we were talking about this the other night, right? During COVID, um, you couldn't really travel to Hawaii. Well, even if you could, who wants to go to Hawaii and be stuck in a hundred degree heat, you know, in a, in a face mask? Like I'm not going to wear one. He hasn't worn one since COVID popped off. He disregards all the rules, right? So you had all these short-term rentals that the landlords couldn't rent out, right? And eventually they're like, we just need to sell the damn thing, right? Because they're not renting because tourism in Hawaii just sucks right now. So the housing market is actually undervalued because there's this influx of inventory that's hitting Hawaii that's just kind of taken a while to move quite fascinating, you know? So anyway, everyone, that is some real estate news. We'll try to keep bringing you some stats and some figures and some interesting stuff like this. If you guys ever need real estate help, um, I do most of the negotiation. He tries to just kind of come in with the, you know, he does hard negotiation, right? Like I'm the good cop. He's the bad cop. He bites you. And I'm just like, Hey, I don't want him to bite you. Just accept the offer and, and we'll move on. So anyway, if you need real estate help, let us know. Uh, we're in Salt Lake and Phoenix and Dallas and you know, just go down the list, but San Diego, a bunch of different areas, right? So let us know if you need help. Um, there's that. I'm not even going to tell you to subscribe to the channel, even though I kind of just backdoored you into saying it, but, uh, you know, feel free, knock yourself out if you want to. Huh? Not bad, right? Stupid dog lips. All right, everyone. See you later.